Hello, lovely humans! Jen Foxbot here. We are continuing our exploration of electrodynamics concepts with surface integrals. Woo! Yeah! So you'd be like, way you skipped a bunch of stuff, and yeah, that's okay. Um, so I skipped a few of the um, dot and cross product rules, because you can look those up. Um, and I also skipped line integrals, because I covered that, actually, um, sometime last year. So if you want a refresher on that, by all means, go and check that out. Um, surface integrals are also super, super helpful. Um, they allow us to calculate what is called flux, or basically like the amount of stuff that is passing through a surface. So super useful in physics and engineering and probably lots of other scientific disciplines I'm not terribly familiar with. Um, but as an example, let's say that you want to do a ridiculous magic trick and you want to figure out how much hot lava is going through your hula hoop at a given point in time, you can use the equation for surface integrals to figure out how much uh, mass of hot lava is passing through the area of your hula hoop per a given unit of time. Um, so in this case, we have V, which is a vector. Oops, usually there's a little S here for surface. Yay! Um, to let you know that this is a three-dimensional integral. Um, yeah, okay. Um, so you have a vector function V, um, and then you have uh, dA, which is uh, defined to be um, dx, whoopsies, nope, no, no, dy dz x hat in the x direction, plus dx dz y hat in the y direction, plus dx dy z hat in the z direction. And I'm going to grab my notes to make sure I don't define this wrong. dA is the infinitesimal patch of area with a direction, it's a vector, see the little vector hat? Oh, cute. Um, so its direction is perpendicular to the surface. So in the case of the hula hoop, which I'm practicing with my hands, um, dA would point outward. Um, or if I were to draw a funky little, I guess I could draw my hula hoop. Woo! That's my hula hoop. So dA would point outward like that. And you're like, wait a second, don't we want to know if the lava is flowing away from me or towards me? Yes, very important. Um, so in this case, you could have dA pointing outward in this way, or maybe you could have it pointing downwards in this way. Um, they mean different things, right? If you have just a surface like this, it's kind of arbitrary. And since you're the one wielding the chalk or the pencil or whatever it is, you get to decide which way is positive. If you have a closed surface, like a balloon or something, pretend that's three-dimensional. Oh, look, oh, now it's three-dimensional because I added a little bubble thing. Usually it's defined that dA is positive outwards um, and negative inwards. So you could say that this is positive and this is negative and then this would be positive. Cool. Okay, so now that we have talked a little bit about what a surface integral is and what it allows us to calculate, let's do an example. Okay, so um, let's say that we have, oops, I'm going to give myself more space up here. Okay, so let's say we have a vector v, which I didn't memorize this one, so I'm going to look at the book for the, for the equation. Um, I'm going to run out of space, aren't I? So v equals um, 2xzx hat plus x plus 2y hat plus y times z squared plus 3z hat. Ooh, this gets its own little boxy thingy. Okay, cool. Um, oh, I lost my little hat. That's a hat on the z. Okay, very nice hat. And now we're going to draw a picture because pictures are super duper helpful whenever we're doing surface, line, or volume integrals. Um, and my book defines the outward facing direction as x. Um, the right, wait, no, 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 hold on. My left, stage right, is that how it works? Is the Y and this is the Z. Um, so let's say we have a surface that is a cube. Do, do, do. Oh, my, why does my cube look funky? Okay, well, whatever, that's fine. Shh, it's fine, okay. <laughs> there we go, that's a little bit of a better cube. Okay, it's a cube, it's a cube, but bro. Okay, so my cube is length two. Okay, and we want to find the flux that's passing through the cube. 
And let's say that, I don't know, like this is an air duct and our air is blowing up through the bottom and out through the cube. So we can ignore the bottom. Uh, we're only really interested in these outer surfaces. Do, 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 and that one. Okay, so we're gonna do this one first. And then we'll do that one. And we'll label this one number three, this one number four, and this one number five. Oh, whoops. Oh my gosh. Okay, what letter am I doing? That's a five in Roman numerals. Tiny Roman numerals. Okay. <laughs> um, the other thing that we need to define is what direction is positive. Well, we can decide. <laughs> so I'm going to say that this direction is positive. This is negative. This is positive. That's negative, And this is positive. Cool. Okay, so now we're ready to go. So for surface number one, we have x is constant here. x is a constant two on this outer surface. And so what that tells us is that dx is zero because x is not changing. So, oh, look at that. Our dA vector simplifies a great deal. Anything with dx goes to zero. And so then that means that the only thing left is, uh, whoopsies, no, the x hat one, not the z hat one. Um, so this equals dy, dz, x hat. And so then that means that v dot dA, um, the only components that are going to be non-zero are the x hat components. x hat dot x hat is one and all the others are zero. So we have 2xz times dy dz, um, but x is two. So we plug that in here and we end up with 4z dy dz. Okay, boom. And then my integral becomes uh, over this first surface v dot dA. Uh, we can pull the 4 out, so we'll get 4, and we'll do the easier one first, so uh, y goes from 0 to 2, dy, and then z also goes from 0 to 2, z dz. Um, so we have a 4 times a y from 0 to 2 times a 1 half z squared, again from 0 to 2. Okay, cool. I try to say boom and cool at the same time. Didn't quite work out. Okay, so um, this is going to go to 2, um, so 2 minus 0 is just 2, um, 2 squared is 4, <laughs> 2 squared is 4, divided by 2 is 2, um, this is going to give me 16. Okay, so the first surface gives me 16, yay! Second surface, cruising right along! On this, uh, on this plane, this is the back of the box, um, x equals 0. And so we did the hard work here. So we're like, wait a second, v dot dA is 2xz times dy dz. But wait a second, x is zero. Ho ho, look at that. So then in this case, v dot dA is zero. And so the integral goes to zero. Oh, I like that, that was easy. Okay, so that goes to zero. I'm gonna erase to give myself a little bit more space. I want to keep my equation. Okay, cruising right along, let's do surface number three. Da, da, da. So in this case, y equals two. Um, dy is zero. And dA, all of the dy components are going to go to zero, zero, zero. We're just left with the y hat direction. So we have dx, dz, y hat, do, do, do. v dot dA. Um, is going to pull out the y components, so we're going to get x plus 2 dx dz. Okay, and so y equals 2, uh, there's no y that shows up here, can't do anything with that. That's okay. Um, v dot dA becomes um, the integral from 0 to 2 of dz. Let's put the easier one first, and then the integral from 0 to 2 of x plus 2 dx. Okay, and then this becomes z from 0 to 2 times 1 half x squared plus 2x from 0 to 2. Uh, this becomes, do, 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 what is over here? 2, z, uh, 2 minus 0, and then we have 2 plug in here. Um, so 2 squared is 4, divided by 2 is 2, plus 4 is 6 minus 0 is eight. Yay. Okay, cool. Okay, just a couple more surfaces left. Um, equals eight. Wait, 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 wait. That's not eight. What am I doing? Ah. 
12. <laughs> ah, good times. I make those like, I work too fast sometimes. Anyway, okay. Um, props to you, who caught it, and props to me for catching it before I posted the video. Okay. Um, so now let's do surface four, which goes this way. Oh, the thing I forgot to mention, ah, speaking of going too fast, um, so, uh, this back surface should have had a negative, um, I got so excited because I went to zero. Um, okay, so in this case, um, we have a DA that is negative DX, DZ, Y hat. Um, so on this surface, y equals zero, dy is again zero, and dA equals negative dx dz y hat. Okay, so now uh, v dot dA is x plus two, but it's going to have a negative. Um, so our integral v dot dA is going to have a negative out front, um, and we're going to do the z one again first, zero to two dz times 0 to 2 x plus 2 dx. Uh, good news is that, again, we already pretty much did this. So negative z from 0 to 2 times 1 half x squared plus 2 x Oops, from 0 to 2. And so this is just going to give me a negative 12. Oop. Okay, one more surface. All right, and now I need more space for our last and final surface. Yay! Okay, so surface five. In this case, Z is constant, and DZ, wow, DZ is zero. Okay, so now we have DA only in the Z direction equals DX, DY, Z hat. And lastly, oh, we're going to get really good at these vector dot products and probably worse at drawing the vector symbols. Um, so it pulls out the z components. Um, so we have y times z squared plus 3 times dx dy. Uh, but we have z is constant, so let's plug that in. So we're going to get y times uh, 4 plus 3. Whoopsies, wait. My bad. Minus. Wait a second. Okay, so we have four minus three. I did memorize something about this function. Okay, so we're gonna have y times one times dx dy. Ooh, I like that. That's a little bit simpler. Okay, that's an integral, not a j. <laughs> v dot dA equals. Um, we have uh, the integral from zero to two of of dx. And then we have the integral y goes from 0 to 2 also, nothing changed in there, of y dy. And so then we have x from 0 to 2 times 1 half y squared from 0 to 2. Um, and again, we have a 2 times a 1 half y squared, which is going to give me a 4, which is going to give me an 8. Oops. What happened here? Hold on, I did this too fast. Uh, this is a two. <laughs> Silly. Okay, two squared is four. Divide by two is two. So boom. Okay. Do do do. Eight. Okay. Whew. That's a lot of integrals. But it's okay because we just we keep it simple. We don't have to do all, the whole square at once. And now we get to add them up to find the total flux. Through the whole surface how much lava or air is going through this cube okay so the total um surface integral we just add up all of the surfaces that's it boom so much simpler okay so we have 16 plus 0 plus 12 plus negative 12 plus 4 equals 20 Woo! Okay, well, what does this mean? 20 what? Well, okay, this is a pure math problem, but in, uh, in a physics problem or an engineering problem, we would, you know, be given that this function uh, represents some sort of fluid um, or something like that. Maybe it's electricity because we're talking about electrodynamics. And so maybe we would have, you know, that this is um, the amount of charge flowing through a uh, 
particular surface at a given time. So this might have, you know, 20 coulombs uh, per second uh, per centimeter squared or something like that. Um, yeah, cool. But that's pretty much it. Um, let me know if you want me to tackle volume integrals. They're a little bit trickier. Um, but uh, if not, we can move on to some other things. Cool. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions on anything we covered here. Remember to draw a picture and break it up into simpler parts and then just add the parts together. Boom. QED. All right. Go forth and math all the things. Bye.